Maybe people think they that can beat you. That team probably wouldn't be in the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, do you think the teams maybe think they can beat you now? Does that give Kentucky actually an advantage on the road now? Whew. I'd rather not have an advantage if that's the advantage. Um, they probably think they can beat us, and I don't think it's going to lighten them up. It's like this is a chance to get them, and let's take advantage of it. Um, the building will be packed. Is it shirt night down there? <laughs> is it? Red shirt, I'm telling you, I'm getting into the T-shirt <laughs> business. This is crazy. Um, but it'll be – got a great call from Coach Sutton. He said, I'm going to be at the game. I don't need tickets. I'm all good. I'm going to be there. I'm gonna, so I'll see him prior to the game. Um, but it, it's going to be a war. Every game we have from here on in is a war. We either got to, you know, bow the necks and play or you get beat. How much is a Clark like an X factor? If he gets going, it's a different kind of game. It's, it's hard. Tough thing because he's shooting deep threes. He's got – he could do to us what Jenkins did to us. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's quick trigger. He gets to the foul line. He's really good. But their other guards are good. Their other guards – I'll try to get in the lane and create havoc. They're big people. Um, they're, they're throwing lobs at the rim. They're running good stuff. Um, they're playing really hard. You know, I just watched their Georgia game. They had a chance to win that game. They should have won it. Uh, I watched the Alabama game. They should have won that game, had their chances to win that. This is, this is a team that's uh, a dangerous team. Is Darius your next factor? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I think that, you know, uh, Terrence and Brandon are very critical with how we have to play. And then those other guys, you need someone, whether it's Deron or Darius or DeAndre. Josh has been pretty steady. Um, you know, he's like a, on that there. He's not really over here, and he's not, but he's right there. So I think those three, you're hoping for two of the three to play well. Did you uh... – Kentucky and Arkansas used to play, and it was like on Super Bowl Sunday. It was a big deal in the league. Did you watch those games? Did they make any impression on you? I know you weren't around here back then. but No. I, what I remember is Arkansas, Texas. Daryl Royal. <laughs> that game. <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. Different sport, but okay. Yeah, that, I, I remember Texas and Arkansas playing football. <laughs> and the two coaches, you know, in the history of the game, those are two of the great coaches. But Nolan's 40 minutes of hell, though. Oh, it was, it's hard. We, I coached against them three or four different times, and it's, it's, a, it's a beast. We played them the year they won the national title. Played them to open up the season, and they're a beast. I mean, and, uh, you know. John, what did you see the last two games your team is doing better that allowed them to, to play better? Playing at home. <laughs> is it as simple as that, or was there more to it? Well, I mean, we, you saw that we were shaky against Mississippi State at the end, and we weren't against South Carolina. You know, some people said to me, why didn't you sub with six minutes to go? They were pressing. Did you watch the Mississippi State game against our first team? So that's why I didn't. And the second thing is I'm trying to build up the team of guys we're playing. We're still not quite where we need to be. So, What do you but mean, good, John? Good, good, good group of guys were trying. They were good in practice yesterday. I expect the same today. We'll go from there. I'm sorry. You, you mentioned in uh, talking about leaving the, or going with the six or so that psyche, the team psyche is something. Can you elaborate? Five on minutes it? to go. How do we play? Up 18. Remember Georgia? You remember South Carolina down there? You remember Mississippi State? Well, let's, let's work on having a lead and finishing them off and finishing a double-digit win, which we did. Um, you know, got to play to win. You can't play. It's kind of like prevent defense. In football, prevents you from winning. Playing not to lose leads to losses. You got to play to win. You got to know the clock. You know, you got to know that you're up double digits. You don't have to look at the score. You know. If you're down, you speed it up. If you're up, you try to work clock, try to score when you have an opportunity. If not, you're using clock. But it's all stuff we're learning. Does this mean, John, that you don't think you're going to get anything more out of your bench this year? I don't know. I hope so. Okay. Put them in. They, we just stick them in and let's see how they play. Caldari's talked about how the preparation from the player side has been better maybe the last week or so. <laughs> Have you noticed any change in them? Are you, are you guys doing anything differently structurally in terms of getting them prepared, or is it just maybe them? Just probably the demanding a lot. We're not practicing as long. That may be helping them. Um, yesterday's practice was shortened. This one's going to be shortened even more. So I'm backing up off practice. Now, the issue has been this team needed to be coached. And so to just say we're going to go back – Normally at this time of the year, we're practicing an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. 
That's it. This year's team, it's, it's just got so much to do. You can't just say we're good where we are. We're not good where we are. Um, we got to get better. And they're getting better. I think they're getting better. Cal, is there any more pressure because you guys have this little hurdle about not winning on the road that no matter what it is on any particular team, if there's something to overcome up in a problem, does that add some pressure to the players and the coaches? You know what I'll probably talk to them about is that we've got two more road games. Um, after that, everything's neutral, and, and our fans are everywhere. So let's use these to get better. Let's, let's figure out in a roughhouse game how we finish a game off. Uh, let's look beyond just wins and losses. Let's start playing better. I thought, Vandy, we played good on the road. I really did. I thought we played well until last three minutes. We had a few turnovers and defensive breakdowns. But short of that, I thought we played with some energy. I thought we played pretty confident. In, in a tough environment, so. Is that a way of taking pressure off the team by saying it that way? I'm trying to take pressure off of me. How's it going? Yeah, how's it going? I'm good. We're going to be fine. I swear. Cal, there's been some uh, complaint raised about the fact this All-Star Game in Louisville, the Derby Festival, won't have any of your guys. I know their families put out a statement today. How, how involved do you get in the process?